Hello everyone, this is Hina and welcome to another video of Delineum Creatives and today I'm going to share with you a beautiful logo design based on cluttering concept. It's a glitter based logo design, so very simple, very easy to do in Adobe Illustrator. So if you are a beginner, you are learning Illustrator, then it might help you to create the similar sort of logo design. So what I have in my mind, I have I want to create something on the black background or the navy blue back background with the silver look. There would be a stiletto nails because my client has told me to keep the nails here because they are working in the mostly walking with the hairs nails and uh, makeup my hair are their signature so they want to include the nails uh, around it within the logo design so first of all i want to create a background layer here and as you can see in the thumbnail that it's a navy blue color so i'm using the rectangular tool to create the background and here using the switch option i am uh, changing the color to navy blue color this is more like a dark bluish color or something some people call it a blackish but it's not black it's a navy blue color so here you can see that uh, now uh, removing the stroke color uh, on place and simply locking the layer and here i'm ready to create the logo design first of all i'm placing the business name here this is the bella beauty so bella is there as a main uh, the text of the logo so here i'm changing the font it to autography and uh, that i've downloaded from the font.com it's the free font that i've used here and now increasing the stroke size of this uh, text uh, so and uh, now converting into the outlines here going to the object and here expand all the layers so it will be a single layer now and go to the uh, pathfinder and here unite all the layers so and now going to prepare the effect so go into the effect section here go to the artistic and choose the film crane and here use note down all the specifications uh, to create a graining to create a grainy look and here is the main trick reduce down the size and then what you need to do you have to go to the object and expand appearance and then increase the size this is the main trick to create the cluttering effect so here you can see that i how i have done this and uh, uh, but make sure before doing this uh, that your art space is so big May I try to make the big art space otherwise uh, your uh, logo will be blurred when you are going to render it on the, the execution mark uh, now i'm going to place some sparkles some confetti stars here so here you can see that i've already created so this is very simple there is no i will make up if you want then i can make a video on that as well so i want to keep it here adjust it accordingly as you want there are some sparkles there are confetti stars all these are here now going to create a stiletto nails for this what i'm going to do i will take this ellipse tool from here and uh, dragging a simple oval like this and now going to pan tool and here choose the convert anchor point tool to create a sharp point touch of this design and now intact the direct selection tool to create to play with the you know the anchor points here moving it down and from the sides i want to moving it up so here you can see that the design is more uh, looking like a nail so what the next thing that i'm going to do i want to avoid this sharp point attached for this i have created this rectangular tool and select both the layers together here and using the shape builder tool i want to define the area of this rectangle and now removing it from here to create uh, a flat uh, you know nail structure from the downside so here you can see that how it will be looking like now and uh, now time to create a glittering effect to create the glitter effect fact i want to use the same method that i have applied on the bella and we're now going to adjust it accordingly within the design
Now I want to place the crown at the top of the P and increase the size. I have already created it and now going to apply the same cluttering effect on this by using the same method that I have applied on the Bella and the nail and here you can see that our crown is almost ready to place on B. It will create a more royal of the elegant look in this design. Adjust it accordingly with the design. Okay, now time to create the tagline that is the beauty saloon. So I want to write it here and adjust it with the design. I'm using the same font that I've taken for the Bella, that is autography. And just all the layers together. And Here you can see that uh, our design is almost ready and this is a very simple way easy to do. So if you have any question then you can ask me in the comment section. So if you like my tutorial then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Have a very good day. Bye bye.